Today, I'm going to be taking apart this 2019 Range Rover Sport LED headlight. Here's the part number for the light. I'm going to go ahead and begin by removing the lens and then we'll begin disassembly of the light. I have the lens removed from the light, so now I'm going to go ahead and begin disassembly of the internals. So first, this black bezel just pulls straight off. There's just a couple clips holding it in place. There is a single T10 screw on the bottom outside corner. I'm gonna go ahead and start by removing that. As you can see, this is broken, but that would have at least removed that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start removing the T20 screws. Okay, so there were three T20 screws holding on the second half of the black bezel. Then there are two T20 screws holding this outer LED unit on, but it's broken off of the bottom here, so I can just go ahead and pull this and release the wire clip. So there's gonna be three T20 screws holding on this LED unit. And again, because it's broken, it came right out after one. So now I'm gonna go ahead and release the wire clips. Next, I'm gonna remove the T20 screw holding this LED unit on. And then release the wire clip. Now there are four T20 screws across the bottom. Next, I'm going to loosen the bracket on the projectors by using a six millimeter hex to loosen this adjuster. After loosening the adjuster on the back, I was able to pull the projector forward and use a flathead screwdriver to slide it in and free the projector from the mount. Before I can pull this out, there I need to remove this front wire clip. With the front wire clip out of the way, I need to start removing the wire clips on the rear of the projectors. With the wire clips removed from the back of the projectors, the last thing to do is to grab this wire and pull it straight off of the adjuster. So with that off, now we need to just wiggle this through and we can pull the projector out. So now we have the projector free from the headlight. With the projector free from the housing, we can now see that this ball mount is what the projector was connected to. That ball mount sat inside of this connector here. In order to release it, I use my flathead screwdriver. I reach through and just put a little bit of pressure here to give it enough room to come off of that ball joint. Next, I'm gonna remove the LED ballast. It is held on by three external Torx screws. So I'm gonna be using an E8 driver to remove this LED ballast. With the three screws removed, I can now pull this away from the headlight. In order to release the ballast from the wire harness, there are two clips, one on each side, that are holding this connector on. So I want to squeeze down, I want to push it in and lift up on one side and then take my screwdriver and push the tab in on the other side. It will release and then you can just lift it up and it will disconnect and you can just pull it free. With the ballast removed, 
I'm going to go ahead and pull the couple tabs holding the wire harness in. In order to fully release the wire harness, we need to go back to the wire connector on the rear of the housing and just give it a quarter turn to the right. And then it will just push straight into the housing. Now the wire harness is completely free of the headlight. Before I continue, I'll go ahead and show you these LED boards for the daytime running lights and turn signal. All of these boards are plastic welded into the headlight. So here you can see there are three connectors and these are all molded into the plastic lens. So in order to remove it, you have to break these clips off and you will not be able to put them back. Here are the LED running lights. Here is the main headlight wire harness. Here's the LED ballast. Here is the LED projector unit. I'm going to go ahead and disassemble the LED projector and we will take a look at the LEDs on the inside of it. I've disassembled the projectors and here are the LEDs inside. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.